Welcome to River Bluff High School. My name is Connor Clamp. I'm a sophomore here at River Bluff and today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour around the school so we can get you guys prepared for your first year here at River Bluff. This is the entrance to River Bluff where you will come in on the first day. So why don't you guys follow me? To the left here is the front office where administration is. But on the right here is the guidance office where you can meet with the guidance counselors to talk about your classes. Walking into here is going to be the front office. Here are our awesome front desk ladies, Miss Sandy Surratt and Miss Chastain. Walking into the front of the school, we have your principal, Dr. Clamp. Dr. Clamp, what do you have to say to these incoming freshmen who will be attending here next year? Future Gators, I'll tell you this. Work hard, get smart, and do good. Thank you, Dr. Clamp. If you walk this way, you are going to be going into the rotunda. This is where all of the magic happens. This is the main part of the school and really like the middle of the school where you will be here a lot of days passing through the rotunda to go to a lot of your classes. Hey guys, my name is Faith Holiday, and I'm going to be giving you a tour of River Bluff's academic wings today. We are in Lower A Hall. This hall is usually home to a lot of English classes and you'll have some social studies fun times down here. Um, we have a lot of student involvement in A and right now we are walking into our Center for Law and Global Policy and Development. So I'm going to take you into A209 and this just happens to be where I spend a lot of my time because in this room we have um, level one and level two law center classes. Um, student council meets in this room, which is a really fun thing to get involved with your freshman year. And then some extracurriculars, TARS and YADS meets in here. And it's just a really cool classroom. You can see River Bluff has like a makeshift jury box set up and a judge stand. So now I think we are going to head on out. So freshman year, this is just a really good hall to know your way around. It's really bright upstairs, downstairs. And other than history and English, I think that'll be the extent of A-Hall for today. Okay, so it appears as though we've made our way into A-Commons, which is right next to A-Hall. And how these commons work is most of your teachers that teach the classes in A-Hall do not actually stay in those classrooms, which is not normal and really fun to figure out when you're a freshman. But in upper and lower A, commons you have your teachers desks and usually the teachers that will teach your social studies and your English classes will sit in upper or lower a commons. The fun thing about these commons is that they also have staircases so we have an upper and lower a hall and commons which is the case in all of the other commons too but aside from your teachers that teach in a wing having their desks in these commons all common areas are places you will go during your ILT to work on schoolwork, which you can see some students in here already doing, and just get caught up. You can get teacher help if you're, mess if you're missing assignments and your teacher said in A-Commons, this is a great place to come. And aside from that, we've got some more desks, some more workspaces, and on to the next hall. It may come as a shock, but the academic wings at River Bluff do happen to go in alphabetical order. So next up on our list is B Hall. And we are conveniently standing right at the end of Main Street leading into our academic wings because B is located in the middle of River Bluff. You walk through the front doors, you're in the rotunda and you take a sharp turn to your left and you have reached B Hall. So in B, you will mostly have your science classes. Every now and then you'll have a computing class or overflow social studies. But in B Hall, downstairs, you have a lot of normal classrooms. You have crew, you have law education in these rooms. And then upstairs, you have some really fun biology and chemistry rooms that are really cool. They have 
big tall chairs and lab tables and B Hall is right off of Main Street as I said so it's kind of hard to get lost in this one but we will go into B Commons in just a second and talk a little bit more about your teachers. Okay guys so we have officially moved from B Hall to B Commons so these are right next to each other as I said our halls go in academic order and B Commons is very similar to A Commons but get this instead of a hall teachers, you have your B hall teachers are in B common. So these will be your science teachers, a couple overflow social studies, and B hall, B commons works just the same as A does. If you can need help catching up on work with your B teachers, you come in here, you get that knocked out. And other than that, I think we're moving on to C. Okay guys, so this is where River Bluff may get a little tricky. So right now we are on the 200s level of River Bluff. That's the main level, that's Main Street, your lower A hall, and your lower B hall. We just came out of A and B, and remember how I told you they all have stairs? I remember saying that. So A and B actually go upstairs. So you have your main level of 200, and then you have an upstairs for A and B, and that's River Bluff's 300 level. So all of your classes on your schedule will say like A207. So you'll know that 200 is the main level, so your class will be in lower A hall. But once you get down to C and D, you move away from 300 and 200, and instead of walking upstairs in C to go to a 300 level, you start out on 200 and you walk down to 100. And then you come down the hallway and you have a lot of your math classrooms. And that is a lot of what happens here. Every now and then you'll get an overflow science in C Hall. But other than that, we are going to walk down the stairs and go look at C100 level. Most of lower C is going to be your math. I think you guys will be taking algebra your first year or geometry, one of the two. And it is most likely that those classes will be in lower C. And then once you walk all the way down the hallway, just like the other academic halls, you'll take a sharp turn to your left and we'll end right back up at C Commons. It looks like we've ended up at Lower C Commons, so why don't you come on and follow me on it? So at this point, it should be no surprise that C Commons works just the same way as A Commons and B Commons. Your math teachers that are in C Hall, all of their desks will be right here in C Commons. This one has a downstairs and an upstairs, just like all of the other ones, and it works just as well as any of the other commons areas in River Bluff. Okay guys, it looks like we are headed to our D100, 200 wing. We haven't gone downstairs yet, I'm getting ahead of myself here. We are on D200, and in D Hall, you will have all of your world language classes and your overflow math, and every now and then you'll find your physics classes down here. So walking down D, um, on the right side of the hall, we have Kate classes, which are offered here at River Bluff. And that's a lot of your computer science and your computing classes, which you are required to take to graduate. I highly recommend take one your freshman year, because once you get to be an upperclassman, there's a lot harder classes you have to take. This is lower D, and it is just a continuation of upper D. You'll have your world languages, overflow math, every now and then you'll get your physics, and we're gonna walk right on into lower D commons. So, follow me on in. Okay guys, we are walking into lower D commons right now, and it is very quiet right now because most teachers are teaching, but lower D commons will be where all of your world language teachers sit, and this is a commons just like everything else. You come here to get your work done. We have some kids outside right now. You're more than welcome to spend your ILT outside of every commons, which is also offered at River Bluff here. And all of your world language makeup work or if you need help will happen here. And again, all of your teacher's desks will be in downstairs D or upstairs D commons. Okay guys, and that about sums up the extent of our academic halls here at River Bluff. You will be spending most of your time here as underclassmen, as most of your required classes will be content-based. So just to recap, we went through A, B, C, and D, and right now we have moved our way along Main Street. Now we are going to be walking in the Learning Commons. Hey guys, come on in, we're in the library now. So, I would hope I wouldn't have to explain what a library is to you guys. But here at the Learning Commons, is what we call it in River Bluff, because we're cool like that, you have all of your books, where it's just like a regular library. You can check them out, read them for fun, 
We actually carry a lot of the books in the Learning Commons that you are required to read for your classes as freshmen and sophomores. So that's really cool. You can come check those out and knock out your classwork. The library is also another really, really cool place to get all of your work done when you're on your ILT. It's always quiet and you're not supposed to eat or drink in here, but you can always be productive, which is why I love coming here during my ILT when I know I have to get something done. All right, guys, our last stop before we hit fine arts here at River Bluff is Gatortown. And Gatortown is really cool because it is our school store here at River Bluff, and it is highly student run. So in Gatortown, you can get all of your River Bluff t-shirts, your River Bluff merch, you love to rep our school. Those are really, those come in handy for game days or extracurricular outside of school events. And we also sell some really cool snacks if you guys get hungry during the day. And other than that, we're headed to fine arts now. If you keep walking this way, you will go to the cafe. You can't buy your lunch here, but you can buy any snacks that you would like to buy. Um, and this is right here, right by the rotunda. Um, you can go in, get you a snack, and um, get some nutrients into you. Okay guys, I think that is going to conclude the half of River Bluff that we just talked about off of Main Street to the left with our academic wings and our art gallery. And now I'm going to pass you on so we can learn about some fine arts, athletics, and a lot of other fun things here at River Bluff. This is the athletic area. Whether it's PE, pep rallies, basketball, wrestling, volleyball, you name it, it happens here. This is the weight room. This is the training room. Student athletes can come here for training, treatment, you name it. This is a gym, otherwise known as the Gator Pit. Fun fact, that mural over there was painted in 2015 by a group called Mural Mural on the Wall. This is the Performing Arts Center, also known as the PAC. For musical theater performances, class meetings, even SAT workshops, it all happens right here. This is the Fine Arts Wing. We have computer labs, art rooms, theater, orchestra, band, and the Center for Media Art. We've got a recording studio. This is the Media Art Studio inside the Center for Media Arts. Here you can make TV shows, movies, all kinds of cool media related things. Welcome back. We are now at the Gator Sports Complex. Starting us off here, we have the Gator Commons which um, basically is a place where players will come before football games and eat their pregame meal. Um, it's also a place where parents um, can sit during football games. If you get the Gator League Pass, you can sit in um, side. There's AC, usually there's food there. So it's really like just a nice place to be with your family if you want to come watch your son or um, anyone come play in a sporting event on the River Bluff uh, field. So this here is our beautiful uh, football field, soccer field, lacrosse field, anything you would like to name it. Um, we have a turf field here at River Bluff, so you don't have to worry about rain getting in the way of your game or anything. We take a lot of pride in our facilities and one of the, the best things we have is a nice, nice green field here at River Bluff. Um, if you look to my left here, you'll see the stands of River Bluff. We have um, a lot, we can seat a lot of people here at River Bluff and it's a beautiful um, site here. The sun usually sets um, back behind the baseball field so it's really nice to just see like everything happen here on a nice like Friday night. Um, so it's really cool here at River Bluff. <laughs> 